How do you dry off the dairy animals? When you start drying up your dairy animals, four to five days prior to that, stop feeding concentrates and green fodder to them. Feed them only dry fodder. Give them ample quantity of water. Then after three to four days, start milking once a day and continue this for seven days. The milk that you get from the animal will start decreasing and little milk will be coming out from its udder. On the seventh day, you should stop milking completely. A small quantity of milk may still come out. On the seventh day, give an antibiotic infusion to the udder of the animal so that infection does not occur. Infuse the antibiotic tube in all teats. This will prevent dry cow mastitis from affecting your animal. So, in this way, you can dry off your dairy animals. After two to three days, check the udder if it has shrunk and whether milk is still coming out. If you find the udder shrunk, then resume the normal feed ration for dry period. In developed countries, the drying off process is slightly different. The teats are disinfected and antibiotic infusions are given in the teats. The tube nozzle is inserted in the teat and the contents are squeezed in. After this, a tube sealant is inserted into the teats. The tube sealant provides extra protection and does not allow any kind of harmful bacteria to enter through the teat canals. That's how they reduce the cases of dry cow mastitis. After drying up process is complete, again resume feeding required quantity of feed and fodder. When the animal is pregnant and in dry off condition, there are chances of the udder getting infected during this dry period. This is called as dry cow mastitis. The probability of getting infection is during any time within these 60 days, but the possibility and risk is high at the time of drying off and before delivery when she prepares her udder. At the time of drying off, sometimes farmers do not follow the right procedure. When they stop taking out milk, there could be some residual milk, but many a times there is quite a lot of milk in the udder. And since they have stopped milking, there are chances of mastitis infection. They don't infuse the antibiotic tubes in the teats of the cows. So if you put the antibiotic infusion in the udder, we can reduce the chances of such mastitis at the time of drying off. In the dry period of 60 days, whenever cows sit on unhygienic floors and bacteria enters the udder, the cows can have dry cow mastitis. Hence, keep them in a dry animal pens and give them dry floors with bedding material such as straw or sand to sit and lie down. There are some supplements available in the market which if given to animals during the transition period can reduce the incidence of diseases such as milk fever.